Well, come on, honey. Time to hit the hay. Oh, no, no, no. I want to stay up later tonight. I wish to see a television show, The Late Late Show. It's a show I saw in Paris. Oh, on yeah? stage. Yes, it's a very good show. What show is that? It's Apple Pin. <laughs> what? It's Apple Pin. It's a famous American show. Elsa Popine? Yes. Oh, hell's a poppin'. <laughs> Marshall Thompson, created by Jess Oppenheimer, brought to you by Post, the cereals that happen to be just a little bit better. You know a cereal will please you most when it comes to you in the package from Post, called the Post cereals happen to be just a little better, a little bit better. A little bit better than any other cereal happens to be. All right, Johnny. I'm ready. Okay, honey. How does the picture look now? Now, Johnny, it is jumping up and down. What? I can't hear you up here. Jumping up and down. Oh. How's that? It is not jumping up and down anymore. Good. Now it is going back and forth. <laughs> I think I see what's wrong. I just, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> that is it. That is it, Johnny. That's perfect. Leave it just like that. I'm hanging on it. <laughs> Johnny, you get back on that roof. <laughs> Shakes me up too. <laughs> hey, John, what are you doing up there? I thought we had a golf date. Oh, hi, George. Hi. I'll be with you in a minute. Go on in. Okay. Bonjour. Good morning. Je vous souhaite le bonjour, ma petite. Oh, you look French. Oh, bonjour. Ça va bien? Je vous souhaite le bonjour, ma petite. <laughs> Anything else, you'll get the same answer. <laughs> I just learned the one sentence. Oh, How's the picture now, honey? Now? It is good fun. Bravo, Johnny. Why, these shingles are dry. You just touch them and they crack. Hey, come on, let's go up there. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm coming right now. <laughs> I don't think so. Boy, when you say you're coming right down, you mean right down. <laughs> oh, my poor tulip, they are all crushed. Good thing you didn't plant cactus there. <laughs> you sure you're all right? I'm okay, honey, I'm okay, don't worry, don't worry. Those darn shingles need oil. Well, call the guy that did my roof. He did a great job for only $90. His name's Al Swigert. $90? Holy cats, that kind of money, I'll do it myself. Well, I must go back to work. Bye. Bye, honey. See you and have a nice time, boys. Yeah, I'll be back about 5.30. All right. <sighs> $90? Gee, some guys came by last month and offered to do it for half that price. Oh, sure. They just finished a job in the neighborhood and they just happened to have a little oil left over. How'd you know? It's a racket. The first rain comes pouring right through your roof. Pay Al Swigert the $90 and have the job done right. Yeah, I guess you're right. I'll call him first thing in the morning. What time do we do at the club, anyway? 12.30. Well, holy cats, man, we're late. Come on, let's go, let's go. Hey, grab this stuff and hurry up, will you? Hey, these are your clubs. <laughs>
Dick Donovan. This is my brother Doug, Donovan Brothers Roofing Company. Donovan Roofing Brothers Company? In French. We. Uh, oui. Oh, come in, please. Excuse me, come in. Well, hearing you speak brings back memories of those happy months I was stationed in France. Nothing is as beautiful as spring in Paris. Paris, the city of love, huh? Get to the point. Oh, well, uh, we were oiling a roof down the street, and we happened to notice how dried out your shingles are. Oh, yes, yes, I know. We were just speaking about it this morning. Oh, you shouldn't let it go. Obviously, you're a girl who likes to keep up appearances. You certainly keep yourself looking pretty. You're trim, attractive. Get to the point. I am. The point about the roof. We're working on a job down the street, and we just happen to have some oil left over. It's paid for by the other job, so we can do your roof for practically labor alone. I could make you a very nice price. How nice? Oh, let's say... $35? Let's say 40 I would take his, let's say. Thirty-five's enough, Doug. You're pretty generous, aren't you? I'm just trying to improve Franco-American relations. <laughs> Get on the job right away. Now, there's no hurry, Doug. Now, how long have you been in the country, Miss... Mrs. John Smith. Uh, we'll get on the job right away. <laughs> when does coffee taste best to you? That first cup in the morning? That sociable cup with friends? Or the one you linger over in the evening? No matter when coffee tastes best, now Instant Maxwell House makes it taste better with a great new, fresher flavor. The flavor of coffee beans still warm from roasting. Coffee beans fresh hot from the roaster. This is the moment when coffee beans are at their freshest, bursting with full, rich flavor. Now we've caught this taste. The flavor of coffee beans still warm from roasting in new Instant Maxwell House. Now the freshest taste in coffee because it's made from coffee beans as soon as they come fresh hot from the roaster. Reach for new Instant Maxwell House in the jar with the stars on top. Hi, honey. Johnny, did you see, did you see? I see, did I see what, 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 what? what? The roof, did you see the roof? Why, is it missing? <laughs> no, really. I have the men all the shingles, like you said should be done. <laughs> what men? Two men came to the door, and they say they are the Donovan Roofing Brothers Company. What else did they say? Well, they say they have just finished your job down the street, and they see how dry your shingles are. Now, what wonderful lucky thing do you think has happened? <laughs> Just happen to have a little oil left over? Yay! <laughs> <laughs> you for only $35. That is good, huh? No, honey, that is not good. No? No, those fellows are working a racket. Racket? Oh, no, they were very quiet. <laughs> <laughs> like little mousesses. <laughs> you mean like big ratses? Those two fellows that came to the door, honey, are crooks. Dishonest. Oh, no. Oh, yes. George told me how they operate. When the rain starts, that's when the trouble starts. It just leaks right through and ruins the house. Well, well, nothing is wrong so far. The, the shingles are still up on the roof. And the roof is still up on the roof. <laughs> well, maybe you are jumping to collisions. <laughs> No, no, by George, we won't wait and see. I'm going to find out right now. I'm going to go up and turn a hose on that roof. And one leak, oh boy, just one leak. Any leaks? No. No leaks? No. Are you sure nothing? Nothing. It's a miracle! Our ship floats! I don't understand it. I really gave that roof a good soaking. Not one drop of water dropped in. See? You have been very wrong, and I have been very right. I demand an apology. I'm sorry. Oh, such a little apology for 
such a big mistake. Angelique, my beloved, I have done you a great injustice, and I humbly and cravenly beg your forgiveness. Mm, that's much better. Now take me in your arms and tell me how wonderful I am. You are wonderful. and I'm the luckiest man in the world. <laughs> but honey, what? Honey! What's wrong? <laughs> <Holly. laughs> uh, hmm, holy cats, I'm going to apologize more often. <laughs> Come into the kitchen. Huh? Why? What? Yeah, why? Why what? Why do you want me to come into the kitchen? Oh, I, I, I have a big surprise I have for you. A uh, surprise? Yeah. Uh, uh, close your eyes and come into the kitchen. Close my eyes? Yeah, well, the surprise is no good if you see it first. Uh, so, so you must close your eyes and, and not look until I say so. Hmm? Okay, lead on. <laughs> now, oh, you are going to have a surprise. <laughs> no oh. picking, no picking. Okay. Well, it must be something pretty special. Uh, oh, yes, it, it is something very special. <laughs> Have you with me? Uh, now, now what? Now? Uh, now, now you, you sit down here. Uh, and, and, and you will see the surprise in, in, in just a moment. Oh, oh. What a surprise it, it is, too. <laughs> you, you have no idea how, how surprised you will be. <laughs> I, I can hardly wait to your surprise when you will see my surprise. <laughs> you may look now. <laughs> well, where's the surprise? Well, the surprise is that we are going out for dinner. <laughs> Out for dinner? Yes, I, I just heard about the new restaurant. Oh, but honey, oh, it's supposed to have wonderful food. Well, yeah, but I've just been finishing playing golf. I'm tired and I'm not dressed. I don't want to go out there. Let's just stay home, huh? Oh, I, oh, I. That's a good girl. <laughs> Why the backyard? Uh, what? Uh, oh, uh, wouldn't you be more comfortable uh, outside in the air? No. Uh, no? Ah, this is fine. Uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, I, I will pick you a, a nice dinner and... <laughs> What was that noise? Noise? Yeah. It was a plunk, like, uh... Is the faucet dripping? Yes, that, that's what it is. Oh, now, you relax, uh, and you close your eyes, and, and I will pick the dinner. <laughs> Boy, won't George be surprised when he hears how little it costs to have our roof oiled? Ha-ha! <laughs> what a laugh on him, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That sounded close. Close? Yeah. Funny, I could have sworn that... Uh... <laughs> what did you do just then? What did I do just then? Yeah. When? Just then. Where? Right there. You did something with a... with a pen. Oh. <laughs> a leak in the ceiling. We do? <laughs> and all that talk about closing my eyes and the big surprise, why did you want me out of the living room? I, I, I didn't want you out of the living room, and I don't care if you go in.
Chutney. Oh, such a little apology for such a big mistake. <laughs> what are we going to do? Well, I don't know about you, but I may cry. <laughs> Well, we'll look into it. Oh, thank you, Miss... Martin, uh, Detective Martin. Oh, thank you, Detective Martin. Now, uh, about these uh, Donovan brothers, did they give you an address or phone number? No. Well, uh, could you describe them for me? Oh, oui, yes. Yes, uh, let me see. Uh, the one who do the most of talking, he is uh, young, uh, good-looking, and very, very tall. And... Um, Oh, you know, he, he, he does look a little like that, that movie star. You know, the very handsome man with, with the dark curly hair. Um, oh. Uh, 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 Burt Lancaster? Uh, no. No, you know that, that cute face with, with dark hair. Anthony Quinn? Uh, no. Rock Hudson? No. Gregory Peck? No. Charlton <laughs> Heston? No. Oh, you know, he was in that picture where the two men dressed up like women and, and they joined the girl band. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You mean, uh, oh, <laughs> he, his, his wife's an actress. Uh, um, a very pretty blonde. Uh, she was in that movie with the guy. Uh, good, good looking. Uh, has the dimple in his chin. Uh, he, he made that movie about the cannon. Yes, 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 yes. Was in his suit, the very thin one, you know, the one who is married with that beautiful brunette. Oh, yeah. yeah. She was in that thing about the beach yes, with them. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> that famous dancer was in his suit. Oh, sure. Yeah. That, uh, what's his name? <laughs> uh, he did all those musicals with the, with the blonde. Uh, she became a dramatic actress. Uh, uh, I got it. I got it. Tony Curtis. <laughs> Tony Curtis. Well, going backwards, uh, Ginger Rogers made all the musicals with Fred Astaire, who was in On the Beach with Ava Gardner, who was married to Frank Sinatra, who pulled the cannon with Cary Grant, who did the movie with Janet Leigh, who's married to Tony Curtis, who was in the picture you couldn't remember, looks like the guy you're talking about. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, uh, but Tony Curtis is not the one. It is the man who played his friend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you, you mean he, he, was, he was in that apartment thing with the girl, uh, uh, the one with the hair? Uh, 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 Shirley MacLaine. Yes, that thing! <laughs> Looks like Shirley MacLaine. <laughs> wow. Oh, no, no, I know, I know, I know. Jack Lehman. Oh, uh, a very tall of Jack Lehman. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, what about this uh, other Donovan brother? It doesn't look like anybody. <laughs> well, uh, couldn't you give me a little bit more to go on? Well, he's older. Okay. Big shoulder. Oh, oh, he does look a little like, like that, that, that cowboy star. You know, the one who is married with, with that famous thing on TV, you know. Oh, sure, she's the, uh, the one that... Uh, <laughs> once with the... <coughs> well, uh, never mind, Mrs. Smith. I, uh, I've uh, got enough here for a start. Good. Okay, now, if you should see these two men again, you keep an eye on them no matter what you have to do and call me at the police station, Detective Martin. Good. I, I will do that, Detective Martin. Uh, goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> years I just pushed the dust around but didn't get anywhere till I met Pledge. Now I'm getting somewhere. Of course, dusting does get you somewhere when you use Pledge because Pledge gives you wax beauty instantly as you dust. Just spray and dust. Pledge cleans and waxes as you dust. Picks up dirt, smudges, fingerprints, puts down this real wax shine that dries instantly. Or spray cloth first, then dust. Pledge cleans and waxes as you dust. Use Pledge on porcelain, plastic, 
practically anything dustable. Pledge and your dust cloth belong together. Together we're great. Get Johnson's Pledge for waxed beauty instantly as you dust. Hi. You! Well, you weren't here the other day when we finished the job, so I thought I'd stop by for a minute. I wanted to tell you that... Yeah, how nice of you to come by! Oh, you'd be so nice to see you again. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I think of you very often. Well, no kidding. Oh, no, come in, come in. <laughs> you, you're just in time for coffee. Well, don't bother. I oh, just... no, 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 no bother, no bother. You go inside of the dining room, and, and, and I will bring it to you. Well, fine, fine. <laughs> Just a minute. Yeah. Hey, uh, uh, what about your husband? Uh, uh, my, oh, oh, my, he works very late at night. Oh, yeah, sometimes 11, 12 o'clock at night. Oh, I, I'm here so much by myself, and I, I, I feel so lonely. I guess my brother could finish by himself. Oh, of course he can. Now you go inside and I'll be right there. Don't be long, ma chérie, huh? Hello, <laughs> give me the police department. Hello, please, please, I, I want to speak with Detective Martin, please. Detective Martin. Detective Martin, Detective Martin, venez vite, dépêchez-vous, il est là, le voleur, oui, venez vite. So, Detective Martin, oh, I'm sorry, I'm... Susie! Susie, go away, I have to call back the police and tell him what I just told him. Ah! And where's that coffee you're supposed to be making? The coffee? Oh, the coffee. It is gone. It is stolen. Uh, uh, the, the coffee pot, too. Uh, that's why I'm calling the, the police. Well, I don't like the smell of this. I think I'd better get back oh, to no, the job. No, don't go. Don't go. I, I must speak to you. Oh, no, George uh, says oh, that... Oh, uh, please, 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 Oh, now, just a minute, Mac. You're going to stay right here. <laughs> Myself. Oh, yes? Well, there is a phone. Call the police if you dare. <laughs> Hello.
Hello, give me the police department. He's coming, Dan. Now, what's the matter with you kooks, anyway? <laughs> I come over here to tell you about some damage I found on your roof, and, and I got pushed around, clobbered. Hello, police department. You, you found something wrong with the roof? Yeah, up on the television area. was a bunch of broken shingles. Whoever put the antenna in was a real idiot. <laughs> Donovan would like an ice pack for his head. I swear if I can get out in one piece. It's all my fault. Yeah, you must think we are very strange people. That's the understatement of the year. I really owe you an apology, Mr. Donovan. It's all right. Forget about it. Don't worry. Goodbye, huh? <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Kind of funny, isn't it? <laughs> In a way. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm, I'm a boob. Uh, Dim-witted bonehead. Uh, a clumsy, ineffectual lout. Um, how can you let me say these things about the man you love? <laughs> Just keep going. I will tell you when you have had enough. <laughs> Your roof. Hey, well, sit down. Have some post alphabets. Yes, it is the only area that has all the letters of the alphabet. So sit down for a spell. Your roof's in pretty bad shape, but I put on some extra help to get the job done. Well, then you'll need the energy the post alphabets can give you. You know, each time we have alphabets for breakfast, we have always everybody who drops in. <laughs> Angel was brought to you tonight by Post, the cereals that happen to be just a little bit better. A little bit better than any other cereal happens to be. Miss Hennessy, starring Jackie Cooper, Monday nights over most of these same stations.